that some of you guys have to know this about things that they are not putting in the news. Okay, in Russia, I would probably be banned for talking about this. And this is what's going on in Russia. I want to show this to you. Those of you who want to pay attention, by all means, or you can actually go to YouTube and you can go to the channel yourself and look at it. It's Russia targets Jehovah's Witnesses with arrest, okay, and raiding of homes. But I want you to pay attention to what's going on. And I want you to understand that this is not just Russia. It happens in China. It happens in Saudi Arabia. It happens in uh, Israel. It happens in so many other countries. And follow me. Um, I want to show you. Because some people think, hey, you Jehovah's Witnesses, y'all don't believe in this, y'all don't believe in that. You will be Okay, now remember, I said it's happening in just about every land. It happened in the United States in the 40s and 50s. It happened in the United States in the 40s and 50s. That's why those lawsuits were won. See, usually in the United States, every single time it's been overturned. The cases have been overturned. The individuals have been exonerated. Okay, hold on. And by the way, the courts, <laughs> the courts in the United States do not like Jehovah's Witnesses. Don't know. I don't remember Jehovah's Witnesses ever doing anything to the courts. I really don't. Okay? These things I command you, that you love one another. Now, you're going to hear in the video I'm about to show you that they take that command very seriously, that they love one another and that they love their neighbor. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were part of the world, the world would be fond of what it's its own. I don't see other organizations being quote unquote persecuted. Yes, 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 I know, I know that there are some, I get it. Over in China, there are several groups that are persecuted, I get it. But Jehovah's Witnesses are only being persecuted as a result of them witnessing about Jehovah, Christ Jesus, and God's kingdom. It's the only reason. You, you'll hear. See, now because you are no part of the world, yeah, we don't participate in politics. Oh, they can't stand that. We don't vote. They can't stand that. We do not participate in war. They can't stand that. Because these are all things they need in order to keep their societies going. But I have chosen you out of the world. For this reason, the world hates you. Keep in mind the word I said to you. A slave is no greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. If they have observed my word, they will observe yours also. Pay attention to the reason why they're being persecuted. If they have absorbed my word, they will observe yours also. That means that they have to be preaching the word. Jehovah's Witnesses are the only ones going around the earth knocking on doors, preaching the word. Now, if you guys think that I am wrong in that statement, you think that I am wrong in what this says right here, that they're being persecuted because of preaching the word of God and his son, Christ Jesus, about the kingdom, then please prove me wrong. Show me where you're going around knocking on doors and preaching about Jesus, his father, and his kingdom. But they will do all these things against you on account of my name because they do not know the one who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would have no sin. But now they have no excuse for their sin. Ladies and gentlemen, it says because they don't believe something. Okay, it says they do not believe something. Let's find out what they don't believe. But they will do all these things against you on account of my name because they do not know. Belief is knowledge, ladies and gentlemen. The one who sent me. So we tell people Jesus can't be God because how can he send himself? All right, Eon, get up and go out there in that yard. How can I send myself out in the yard? Just, it don't, it don't make no sense. So. Whoever hates me hates also the Father. So let's find out if there's hatred. Y'all don't mind, do you? Let's find out what happened within the last three months in Russia. It's been going on for quite some time in Russia, but let's find out.
8 million Jehovah's Witnesses around the world, and most meet and practice their religion free from threat. But in Russia, the group was just banned under an anti-extremism law, usually meant for dangerous and violent organizations. Our Patrick Rievel, along with our team, have been investigating the crackdown on this peaceful group, and they bring us this in-depth report that some may find shocking. Ladies and gentlemen, the Anti-Defamation League has called me a terrorist. A domestic terrorist, a so-called sovereign citizen, because that's what they do. That's the first thing they do. See, they have to paint a bad light. That's why they want to bring up my past every single time. They can't talk about the present. No, they have to bring up the past. You make a mistake in the past, we got to continue to hold you accountable for that. So they got to bring up the past because they got to sway individuals' opinion to make them believe somehow that what they're doing is right. See, they're justifying it. Now, you see they're raiding someone's home, and you're going to see they have raided hundreds of homes of Jehovah's Witnesses, thousands of homes since 2017. Now, I want you to understand, they are equating them to ISIS. Now, we know who ISIS was started by, but again, they're equating them to ISIS and other extremist groups such as the neo-Nazis. Let's find out. Since 20 2017, Russia's been persecuting the Jehovah's Witnesses. People are being arrested, people are being jailed, their houses are being raided. And no one can really explain why. At the start of 2020, we traveled here to the city of Surgut, where nearly two dozen Jehovah's Witnesses face criminal charges. Three years ago, Russia banned the Christian religious group as extremist. A wave of persecution and arrests has followed. The local community were attending this court hearing in solidarity with one of the men. But even before the hearing started, police arrived for someone else. Now, if you... Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys don't understand what's going on here, he's in the courtroom. Instead of waiting for him to come out, they did this in front of the cameras, in front of everybody, intentionally. It's an intimidation tactic. It's what the police do. Here's the second thing. See, they could have asked him, we need to talk to you for a second, if you please come with us. You know, they could have done that, but they didn't do that. They said, hey, <laughs> you're going to the hospital. Yeah, we're going to do a psychological evaluation. Why? Because he has to be crazy. Why? Because he simply did not consent. You'll find that that's what he's going to say. I do not consent to go to your hospital. I don't want to volunteer for your voluntary confinement. So. Они хотят законно меня сейчас лишить свободы и отправить, доставить в психиатрическую They wanted to illegally imprison me in a psychiatric hospital. It is one of their methods. It's psychological pressure. And there weren't the cameras there or so many people there would have gone much differently. Yeah, because the cameras were there, nobody got beat. And the crowd started to leave the Now, court you guys need to pay attention. The but judge the sits up there and allows so it. Now, watch what they do to these people as they're coming out. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. The police decided that they wanted to wait till they came out to start doing what I suggested they should have done in the first place. They could have waited till they came out. They could have asked the individual, hey, we need to talk to you. But they didn't do that. Hold on. Все это происходит лишь только из-за того, что я читаю Библию, ну и являюсь верующим человеком. Работаем. 
since the ban, police have raided hundreds of Jehovah's Witnesses' homes. Hundreds have been arrested. Dozens are in detention. Some sentenced to over six years in prison. The only thing they're arresting 70 and 80 year old people, ladies and gentlemen, and sentencing them to five to six years in prison on an average basis. This is continually going on. Interesting, huh? Now they're going to tell you why they are arresting them. Hold on. That they're accused of is getting together, speaking about religion, and praying together. And those people are treated as dangerous criminals. Set. Rookies are gold. Jehovah's Witnesses have to gather in secret now. In winter 2019, we attended a prayer meeting. Since then, it's become too dangerous to show people's faces. There's nothing extreme. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me correct something because this is important. <sighs> Jehovah's Witnesses don't have prayer meetings. We don't meet to just pray. Now, yes, prayer at our meetings, each meeting, uh, if it's a Thursday, well, for me, it's a weekday meeting. Well, let's say weekday meeting, there are three prayers, beginning, middle, and end, because there are three meetings. Okay. The Sunday meeting, or Saturday, it's either Saturday or Sunday, so the weekend meeting is three prayers, beginning, middle, and end. There, we don't do prayer rituals doesn't work that way so it's not a prayer meeting but because it's somebody who's reporting who doesn't understand what's going on this is how they portray it no when we meet at our meetings we're studying the bible we're going over information about god and his kingdom and his son and how to serve him his way that's it we're not talking about the government we're not talking about the the world leaders or anything like that it because they're not our in interests we're not part of the world so why would we focus on them they're upset because we do talk about how they play a role in bible prophecy it's just it if you will all pay attention it was because i put out information regarding the system and how things were operating and talking about the pandemic that was getting ready to take place that i ended up in jail in 2018. yeah 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 they brought some stupid charge that they eventually had to kick out because on appeal i brought forth where is the evidence that's all i said on appeal where's the evidence if there is no evidence then you cannot justify this stupidity and what did they do they overturned it that it was literally that simple. There was no evidence of anything. It was all presumption and it was all a railroad. And what I was told when you are held before kings and governors, keep your mouth shut. What you'll be told to say will be told to you in that moment. Well, I wasn't told to say anything, so I shut up. And it worked out. One more time, people. Oh, I hit the wrong button. I apologize. Stream at these meetings, people pray and read the Bible. Jehovah's Witnesses identify as Christian. They share similar beliefs with mainstream Christian churches, but have a number specific to them. Their members are law abiding and live ordinary lives. But the anti extremism law. Hold on. Their members are law abiding. We must obey Caesar's law. Romans, even though there are a lot of people out there who say Romans, the 13th chapter, shouldn't be followed. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we follow scripture. Okay, we do what the scriptures say. That's why we're called Jehovah's Witnesses, because the Bible is his word. We have to follow his word. So we are witnesses of Jehovah. <laughs> Just all we do. But because we do that, because of what we talk about, that's why what's going on in Russia is going on. But maybe you all didn't know. Maybe you all didn't understand how dangerous it is for Jehovah's Witnesses to be knocking on people's doors. Maybe you all don't know about the individuals who have been killed because they knocked on somebody's door.
when all the person had to say was, look, hey, I'm not interested, go away. That's all they had to say. Or, look, don't come to my house no more. Just put me on your list. Don't come into my house. Just like they have a do not call list, Jehovah's Witnesses have a do not call list. Put me on your list. Don't call back at my house no more. And you go on that list and nobody will call at your house. If somebody does, it's a mistake. They didn't know. But other than that, if, once you go on the list, you're on the list. You stay on that list for a year. After a year, they will check by again because people move. And it will usually be an elder or a ministerial servant who will do so. Let's continue. But remember, law abiding. These individuals are not accused of breaking a law. Please understand that. You all need to understand this. Russia banned Jehovah's Witnesses for doing what? Do you know that Russia is under the European Union's Declaration of Freedoms, of Rights? Do you all know that under that declaration, Jehovah's Witnesses have been held to have the right? As a matter of fact, the European Union issued a mandate saying that Jehovah's Witnesses, what they were doing was not illegal and Russia had no authority, and they still passed this law and they still haven't corrected it. So Russia violates the European Union and nobody corrects them, the UN doesn't correct them, and this continues to go on. Again, it is personal, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm one of Jehovah's Witnesses, these are my people that this is happening to. And very soon this will happen again in the United States as it's happening in other countries, especially many African countries. It is not just Russia that they are persecuting. Now, I didn't say persecuting. They're the ones saying that Russia is persecuting Jehovah's Witnesses. Or used to ban the Jehovah's Witnesses equates them with violent groups like ISIS or neo-Nazis. Why? Actually, I don't know. For the past 20 years, I teach people only to love, to be very polite, uh, to pay taxes, uh, to work hard. Uh, I don't, actually, I don't know why. Let me give you guys a story, if you don't mind. There's a young lady, she's a Jehovah's Witness, and she had asked me for my help because she's going through some property issues. And I gave her my help. And while she's at the county recorder's office, she calls me. And she's talking with the county recorders and telling me, and she's a little agitated because she's not understanding what they're saying to her, and they're not understanding what she's saying to them. And I can hear it in the conversation. But the way she's talking to them is out of her frustration. And she asked me on speakerphone, and I say, you know better than that. I said, you know that you don't get to talk to them that way. She's one of Jehovah's Witnesses, ladies and gentlemen. There's a way that we must conduct ourselves, especially when we're in public. I said, you need to treat her as if she is a person, as if she matters. I said, she is not trying to disrespect you. You need to talk to her as if she exists. And I apologize to them on her behalf. Why? Because as he just told you, we must be respectful as our neighbors. It's not just in Russia, it's every one of Jehovah's Witnesses. As a matter of fact, it's every one of you. It's a requirement of everyone. It's not just Jehovah's Witnesses, but as an organization, we are organized and we are united in what we do. That's why I told you this affects me. What's going on with them? These are my people. Uh-oh, I got two sets of people. Did y'all hear that? One second. In some regions, like Surgut, the campaign against the Jehovah's Witnesses has allegedly tipped into torture. Сначала руки за спину скрутили руки скотчем, потом ноги скрутили, надели пакет, положили. Вот, ну, соответственно, стали прижимать пакет, чтобы не было доступа. Я сразу, естественно, испугал, стал орать. Все, я как бы уже у себя, что сейчас задохнусь и Ladies and gentlemen, they tied him up, taped his hands and feet. Now, if you guys don't understand about the taping of the hands and the feet, when they take that off, they're pulling the hairs. So they know that that's going to hurt people when they take it off. But taping the hands and the feet, they have handcuffs. 
They even have the plastic ones, just like they have in the United States. You saw the handcuffs earlier. But they do that on purpose because they want to cause pain. But he said they suffocated him. Now, Jehovah's Witnesses are willing to die for their faith. Let me, let me say that again. Jehovah's Witnesses are willing to die for their faith. You really must understand that. They are willing to die for their faith. Even he says that he knew that he would die. Even Paul speaks of, to the point of death, they thought they had been delivered over to death. Okay? Jehovah's Witnesses are willing to die for their faith. As long as they die faithful, the scriptures support them, give them a reward, a promise, a hope, so they don't have a problem dying for their faith. One sec. They started the torture on with a taser. <clears throat> taser! These men also say they were tortured that day by police. Took him to the torture room, he tased him, tortured me with a taser. Uh -oh. He says they even threatened his kids. Ladies and gentlemen, let me let you know so that you guys will understand. In prison, they do the exact same thing. I have seen the officers beat on people. Even after they're handcuffed, even after they're down, I've seen them beat on people. Okay? Please understand, this is a natural thing because it's a man thing. This is what men do. We get angry and we want to beat someone into submission. We want to force someone to obey us. Don't worry about it. I have the same tendency. That's why I have to be very careful with the dogs. That's why I can't get angry at them when they do something that other people would consider stupid. I understand that they're stupid dogs. Oh, you stupid dog. Okay. I understand that they're, they're not intelligent humans they're intelligent animals definitely these two are the very most intelligent but i've learned from having dogs in the past that they're not doing anything on purpose they're not trying to hurt you when they chew up your uh, ethernet cable like they did mine they're not trying to cause me pain when they chew up my electric cable they're not trying to cause me any problems and so what do i do well i have a technique that I spray it down with my cologne and so that they'll know it's mine. And it works. Now, mind you, I'm buy, 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 buying them some chew toys so that they will have something to chew on so that they will stop chewing on my stuff. But that's why I keep them outside during the day. Right now, they're asleep. They'll be asleep for about another hour and a half. Then I'll put them back outside. See, right now, the sun is directly up top and they don't like that. And so until I can build their structure for them, then they'll be inside. But they don't mind being inside because it's nice and comfortable. And they have padding and a bedding and all of that stuff. So they are all right. But again, men, we get angry. And we want to force somebody to do what we say. Take a look. If you don't do what the United States says or the United Nations says, they want to force you. I gotta answer this, so y'all excuse me for a second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that person will be calling back in a second. Um, but we're gonna continue with this. One second. I apologize for that, ladies and gentlemen. Um, what I am doing by putting up this video is letting all of you know that as many of you who watch my videos hear me say all the time, I am one of Jehovah's Witnesses. I have been a Jehovah's Witness for the most part all of my life, since at least the age of three. Just did a two-hour and some odd, almost a three-hour video explaining about my life and giving a little bit more details about where I get my information from. And because I profess to be one of Jehovah's Witnesses, and it has been my profession, not profession, but profession, um, for the better part of 50 years, seeing a Jehovah's Witness attacked by a mob, all because the government hysteria, and then they're letting you know that 
for the most part, religion is behind it. Did you see who they say is believed to be behind it? Jehovah's Witnesses didn't say that. Those are not Jehovah's Witnesses doing that report. Did y'all see who's doing that report? Hold on, let me pull that report back up. Take a look right here. This is ABC News Prime doing this report. Jehovah's Witnesses are not saying, hold on now. Let me do my touchscreen thing. Uh-oh, it ain't letting me do the touchscreen thing because this is another setup. Oh, it's a setup? Yeah, it's another setup. I don't usually use this uh, showing of YouTube, you know, the way the screen is. I don't normally use this. We have to go forward. Come on now, go forward. All right. I, I, it won't let me do it. So, but the organization that they claim is behind it is usually the organization that's behind it okay it just really is that simple it is usually that organization that's behind it okay whenever jehovah's witnesses are persecuted wait a minute this thing is starting all over again uh-uh and i did that to put it up top uh-uh Look at that. It just decided it wants to start all over again. Oh, because it, okay, I see what it did. The box I was clicking on was on the same level as this particular video. And so it decided to click on the video and not that link. So I will stop it as soon as it comes on. I'm not going to go past 30 minutes with you all. Look, a lot of you love life you love people you love your neighbor and what i'm trying to get you to understand is in the future that's not going to matter if they're look didn't jesus say if they did it to me they are going to do it to you also well ladies and gentlemen hold on i need y'all to pay attention because this is going to make a lot of sense in a minute jehovah's witnesses are known to be amongst as they said even in russia the most peaceable individuals out there okay the most peaceable people out there so and this is unicef reporting about the persecution in russia to violations in europe ladies and gentlemen it's not just happening in russia it's happening in italy it's happening in france it's not just russia i i've already told you about china these are not the only countries it's happening in many african countries so if they're doing it to Jehovah's Witnesses, please understand that they're coming after you all next. You really need to understand that. The government is sponsoring mob violence. They are using the police department to harm people. If they're doing it in these other countries, and they're doing it to Jehovah's Witnesses, who are known to be a peaceable organization, a peaceable group, then how are you going to fare? I know, I know, you say you got your guns. Jehovah's Witnesses don't do guns. And they're doing this to them. Okay? It's only a matter of time before they use the same laws. This is what Hitler did, people. Do you know that the very first group that Hitler went after were Jews, Jehovah's Witnesses, and Blacks? And people say, well, homosexuals too. Okay, they did. Hitler did not care for them. But please understand. When they went after the Jews and Jehovah's Witnesses, of course they were going to add other groups to that list. But those are the two groups they started out with. And guess what? They, they went after Jehovah's Witnesses before they went after the Jews. Why? Jehovah's Witnesses were reporting it and reporting it and reporting it. And nobody was doing anything. Remember, the United Nations is supposed to be the World Peace Organization, but they can't do anything about Russia. Why not? Because Russia has a two-vote majority on the Security Council, along with China. So they can veto any measure. Well, what, what, they can't veto their own junk against... No, they can't, but they China will support them, just like they've supported China. That's how that works. That's the 
frailty of that organization, United Nations. It is best you guys know and it's best that you start to get prepared. They're getting ready to do some crackdowns here too in the United States. It is best you guys know and it is best that you be prepared. Okay? Look, ladies and gentlemen, I told you, I am due for another stint in somebody's jail because it's already been foretold. I can't do anything about that. I cannot stop that from happening. Do I wish I could? Uh, sometimes, but for the most part, no. Because when it happens, that lets me know I'm right on course. Everything so far that I've been told in advance was to happen has happened. Everything. So for some of you who know about my mother passing away in 2017, Am I not going to the funeral? Ladies and gentlemen, when my God helped me to understand that five of my family members were going to die, he knows how I hate death. He knows how death affects me. When my best friend died, 10 years of my life gone, gone because I just gave up and didn't care about nothing or nobody. 10 years over one perfect individual. And five people over the course of time? I couldn't handle that. And that's exactly what I told him. You know I cannot handle that. And he says he won't let us go through anything we can't handle. And I trust him on that. And so I told him I cannot handle that. And he's given me 20 years to prepare. I did not think it was going to last this long, but it took this long for me to get myself regrounded, so to speak. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 32 minutes and 15 seconds will bring this video to a close. I want to thank you all for taking the time to pay attention to what's going on with people around the world so that you can see what's really happening. Got to go.